crankbait rod that we were working on earlier. Uh, place the tip top on it and uh, wrap that all up. Uh, today we're going to work on cleaning up the cork handle and um, it's the first step to restoring this cork handle. Uh, we're going to try to make it look as brand new as what we, what we can. Uh, I have it taped off because what I'm going to use is a scotch Bright pad uh, and some degreaser. This is just your basic uh, maroon scotch Bright pad from scotch Bright. Uh, it's what I like to use to clean up the cork and the degreaser we're using today is Dawn Dissolver. Anyway, uh, this is a good grease degreaser. Uh, it rinses off nice. It doesn't leave a lot of residual behind and uh, really have a lot of luck with it. The reason why I use a scotch Bright pad <coughs> instead of a scrub brush, you never want to use a scrub brush uh, on, on the cork because what will happen is, is any of the places in here that still have the, the filler in the cork, you're going to dig all that out. You're just going to create more work for yourself. So any of the any of the filler, the cork filler, or, or what they'll call pit paste that's still in there can stay in there. Uh, so I like to use something like a scotch Bright instead of a scrub brush to uh, clean that out. Now this one is actually bad enough where I could use this handle. It's in bad enough shape where I could use a scrub brush. But because um, <clears throat> I really think that just about all the, the filler is out of the cork. But uh, today we're going to demonstrate using the, uh, the Scotch Brite and the degreaser just to show you how this goes. Uh, I'm going to do this in a bucket uh, just because it's going to be easier for me to film today uh, instead of taking it over to the, to the wash tub and, and doing that and setting that up. So that's why we're going to do it in the bucket. You can do it in the wash tub, you can do it outside by the garden hose, whatever. But um, this is how this is going to go. So I'm just going to drop it right on in there and uh, first I'm going to get it wet and get the uh, degreaser on it. Okay as you can see uh, I started one little spot uh, on this handle and you can just see how it's really starting to brighten it up and uh, I'm not concerned about you know how clean it's getting inside all those pits because we're going to fill those with pit paste and uh, I didn't start on the four cork yet but there's a difference between just seeing how it's going to brighten up and sometimes I'll use uh, after I clean it with the degreaser I'll get a rag and I'll wipe it off with uh, with alcohol with isopropyl alcohol and really get anything that's left behind and that isopropyl alcohol uh, because it dries so fast and everything it really lightens up the cork a lot and gives it a real nice restored look to it um, I've got the real seat taped off and in front of the foregrip taped off because that scotch Bright pad is abrasive and I don't want to scratch anything up. I want this, this to, to look as new as possible when I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of this up and get it dried up and, uh, and I'll turn the camera back on and show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see uh, the, the, the cork really came out nice and clean. I did go over it with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol um, after it was done. Uh, cleaned up a little bit of the blank here in front. There was, if you remember from the other video, there was a, a big chunk of mold right here where you can see where the uh, where the hook keeper was. So I've got this this cleaned up. I've got it degreased. I cleaned the reel seat back up and retaped things off and. Uh, tape the butt cap off because the, the next step of the process here is going to be to uh, put the filler in the cork handle and uh, I don't want to get any of that filler on any of these plastic or rubber parts or on the blank so I've got to tape back off and then what, what, what I'll do after that is is I'll sand all that filler down to make this nice and smooth and uh, make it look like brand new again but one of the things I want to show you I cleaned one, hand, one handle in this bucket of water and just look how filthy that is. Let me zoom in on there for you. I mean that's like that's like the Cuyahoga River. That is terrible. That's just solid mud. So um, there's a whole lot of stuff on that rod handle. You know like I said before it was probably some sun blocker, some fish gook, peanut butter and jelly. Who knows what was on this thing but it was filthy but it's clean now and uh, 
we're going to get her filled up and filled in and and uh, get it taken care of. Uh, the alcohol that I use in the shop here is uh, it's an isopropyl alcohol, 70 percent. Uh, I've used the 80 some and 90 some percent, and I really like the 70 percent the best because <clears throat> at times you can get into something where the 90 percent is just too strong and it'll start to uh, melt away at, at some of the materials, uh, some of the finishes, and you you know and it's you have to be real quick with it, and you know with the 70 percent. Um, it's it's not as powerful and uh, it's a lot safer, uh, less likely to do damage to, you know maybe where the flex coat is you know is over you know if you're wiping you know the whole rod down where the flex coat is over the top of the uh, the threads or over the labels, um, you know it can cloud that area with the with the with the ninety percent. So I stick with the seventy percent isopropyl alcohol and uh, and it's all good and safe that way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the uh, this rod cork handle filled up and uh, you're probably tired of looking at that filthy bucket of mud anyway so uh, that's what we're gonna do next and uh, I'll get that going okay uh, before I get started on this I just wanted to show you the uh, the product that I use for filling uh, the cork handles uh, it's made by Elmer's glue it's just a wood filler it's wood filler max and uh, it is the golden oak color that seems to work the best for me I have two colors I have one that's 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 a more like a red oak color as well and if I've got some some a cork handle that's really really dark uh, I'll use that or I'll blend the two together to try to match it a little bit better but uh, this here Elmer's golden oak seems to work well for me I think I got it at uh, I want to say it at Lowe's or Home Depot so you can get it. You can get it anywhere, and uh, it works really well. It dries. It dries pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to fill it up, and uh, then I leave them set overnight. Okay, as you can see, I've got the uh, the cork all filled in with the wood filler, and uh, I'm going to let it dry. And tomorrow I'm going to sand it, and we'll show you what it looks like. 